Well, the path to higher education, especially in the medical arena, doesn't necessarily have to be a traditional one. That's right, Montel. These days, there are a myriad of opportunities for medical students to pursue, as we learned while on campus at Lake Erie College of Osteopathic Medicine. Let's take a look. Welcome to Lake Erie College of Osteopathic Medicine. Their main campus of about 1,000 sitting on 50 acres in Western Pennsylvania, very close to the shores of Lake Erie. Here, students and faculty from across the country and globe gather in pursuit of osteopathic academic health excellence. What sets LECOM apart is our educational program. We train osteopathic physicians, and we have four to five pathways depending on their choice. Our schools are in small communities, so we train physicians in small communities. Why? That's where the need is. That's where the access is. Our students do very well in their licensing tests, and most importantly, since doctors need residencies to practice, we have a 100% match. So what we do here is make a competent, compassionate osteopathic physician or physicians that are trained the osteopathic way. Medicine today is team approach. The unity is all around the patient. It's everybody has a part to one end. So when they're trained in that way, they learn the interprofessional aspect, they learn the holistic aspect, and they also learn some tenets that'll help them actually throughout their career. When LECOM opened in 1993, co-founder Dr. Ferretti became the first woman dean of an osteopathic medical college, so her passion for both the school and its students is 30 years strong. And what is osteopathic medicine? It's a paradigm shift. Medicine was disease. How do you take care of a disease? We believe that the body can heal itself, has an intrinsic ability. So to do that, you have to feel that you're always approaching getting well. And the ultimate goal really is to have quality in the years that you have. The affordability is important for two reasons. One, when you don't come from legacy, then you worry about the cost. Who's going to pay for it? And ultimately, it falls on the student, right? The other part of the affordability, though, or what we call indebtedness, helps them make the right decision. Some people will pick a different part of the profession, one that may reimburse them more. But it's important that when you're in this profession, you pick what you're good at and what you like. And so lack of indebtedness, right, allows you to do that. So our goal with that is so that they love what they do, so it's not work anymore. Most of our scholarships are linked to being good students. And our mode of raising money has been an auction. We give out scholarships and the lowest tuition, I think, in the country, we give out $4 million a year to, again, decrease their indebtedness. Taking a more holistic approach is certainly something Dr. James Lin, president of the LECOM Institute for Successful Aging, knows well. At the Institute of Successful Aging, we're the most comprehensive continuum of care in terms of taking care of older adults. When we first started out, there was two main goals that we want. One is to deliver the best outcome for the patient. Two is, because we're an academic health center, we want to make sure we create a campus that allow our students to experience what it is to take care of an older adult. And it's very complex. So with our institute, the students actually rotate with us and they get to see acute care, they get to see rehab care, transitional care, and then even home care and do home visits for hospice patients as well. So during that month, they get to experience the whole continuum. As a student, when I first came to LECOM, the first thing that struck me was that there was a very organized curriculum. We had to follow the curriculum to the T. There was a dress code, so we became very professional. At the end of the day, as a medical student, your next step is to get a residency program and you have to be competitive. So they prepare us to be uh, well-versed, uh, well-rounded, because during your rotations, that's where you audition for your future program. So I try to offer them things that I know that they complain about, but it's essential for them to get the skill set for them to be successful. So I think they get a really good why uh, variety of opportunities as well as experiences. So most students really appreciate that. 
From student to faculty, Dr. Lin's journey has been a very personal one. On my internship year, my father got sick. Um, he had metastatic cancer. He experienced end of life, and I had to take care of him the last six months of his life. And during that time, I sort of realized most patients get marginalized when they have terminal diagnoses. And having experienced that from uh, the receiving end, you know, it gave me a really good perspective. So when I was offered the opportunity to develop a geriatric service line, I took all those things in consideration as we developed the institute to make sure that the students, they have empathy and they get to experience, you know, what I have experienced so they can become better doctors. With campuses in Pennsylvania, Florida, and New York, LECOM provides several innovative curriculum pathways, giving students options to select the learning style that fits them best. We have multiple different pathways, which is kind of unique for a school. We have three different ones. Uh, the lecture discussion pathway, which I'm in charge of, is probably the most common thing that people would recognize in education. It is sitting in a lecture, being lectured to by different professors, and then having that expert go over content that they think is relevant for that material. There's also the problem-based learning pathway, which is uh, based around cases or going through cases and trying to resolve deficiencies in, in your ed education so far. So things you may not have learned at this point and identifying those. And then you have a, a directed study pathway, which is more of an independent learning pathway based on modules or, or you know, a set of things that you should learn or you should go through um, when you go through your textbook and learn. It gives the students an opportunity to select what they consider to be um, their strongest way of learning. And by doing that, it gives them the opportunity to maximize their educational potential and do as well as they can on their board exams. One of the things that I would say is a strength of LECOM is we are an institution that is open to a lot of first generation students. And, and a lot of times the low tuition, the ability to uh, practice around the world in different locations and have rotations across the country it really opens the doors to a lot of people that may not be able to get into the other institutions or may not have that opportunity before them. And I think that's a really big plus. Being successful in anything really revolves around doing the right things, putting the right people in the right spots to make the right decisions and getting to the right end result. And then we give the students the option to choose what they consider to be the best way to learn that material. And I think when you align all those things together, you get to an end result where the students are going to be very successful. I think the students enjoy what we do and they, they understand that we're all in this together. We want their success, they want their success. Everyone wants the same end result. And I always remind them of that on the first day. Um, when I'm talking to the first year students, I always say to them, you know, we're all trying to get to the same spot. Every day what we do is we make dreams come true. We make the students' dreams of being a physician come true so that they can serve the public. And we hope that what we're doing every day is contributing to wellness, which is our osteopathic philosophy of body, mind, and spirit, and in that wellness, that our communities live longer and better. Great learnings, right? Amazing. And if you'd like to learn more, head to leecom.edu or visit their social channels. And of course, you can always head to our website, thebouncingact.com. We'll be back right after this.